All right, guys, for this tutorial, we are gonna learn how to do, uh, how to create some cool 3D looking text. You can also do this with a logo. And we're gonna add some, uh, some long shadows to it, which are completely customizable. So the first thing you wanna do here is obviously open up After Effects <clears throat> and start a new composition. Uh, you can name it whatever you want, width, keep it 1920 by 1080, it's usually the stock, uh, frame rate, you can change to 30, and then make sure to change the duration to 10 seconds just for this. You can leave the uh, background color black for the time being. Next thing, we want to create a uh, new solid. Basically, a uh, new solid for our background. I'm going to change the name of this to background. Keep it 1920. Also going to change the color here. Yours should probably default to black. So let's change it to white just for this. Um, but technically you can change this to whatever you want. This is just going to be our background. So I'm going to head over here to effects and presets. Uh, I'm just going to throw on a uh, four color gradient here. Just to get some sort of contrast in the background. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because Obviously, you can put whatever you want, put a nice texture in the background here. You can make something cool. Shit, you can leave it like it is right now. Nice and rainbow. Um, I'm just going to make a subtle sort of gray, white gradient here. But like I said, you can get creative here and do whatever you want. Let's get a nice gray. Okay, that should work. Uh, All right, good enough. Don't need to spend too much time here. So now we got our background layer ready to go. Now let's add in our text. You can also add in your logo. You can just hit File Import, Control I to add in your logo. So for the sake of this, I'm just going to do it on text because I think it just shows shows you a little more. Uh, what I like to do beforehand is just go to, over to Window, make sure your uh, character and your Align windows are open. It just makes things easier. I'm just using Unisans font here because it's a nice, bold, thick font. Looks good when you apply a shadow to it. Um, obviously, you can use whatever. Like I said, you can add in your logo. Um, next thing I want to do is go to a line here just to center it. It's just the easy way to center it and instead of trying to dick around and moving it yourself. Just a quick little trick. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to duplicate this text. So you want to click on the text editor, go to edit and duplicate. Okay guys, now let's click on the uh, second text here, the one we just duplicated. So this, your second text, make it white. And then we're going to click it back to the first text and we're going to make it black, which mine already was. So now I got our black text on the bottom, white text on top. Next, we're going to come over to Effects and Presets again. And we, oh, don't type for radial, type radial. And we're going to use the CC Radial Flask Blur. No plugins are needed for any of this stuff, guys. Let's drag it onto our original text layer. And then, bam, just like that, you can see we've got some shadow going on. It already looks kind of cool. Now, you want to come up here to the presets. You can mess around with different things. You can add a crazy amount of shadow if you want. Um, obviously, you're not going to do that. I usually just keep it around 50. Um, you can change the direction of where it's going. You can also just click the center thing here to kind of control the light, if you will, um, which is a really cool effect. Um, just makes things so much easier. Um, so what we're gonna do here is sort of make just a little animation. So you wanna do is you wanna click on the uh, little icon here to start a keyframe. And then we're just gonna drag it up to five seconds and then we're gonna move the light from one side to the other, basically. Um, and like I said, you just do this by dragging the uh, little icon in the center. And now, let's do a quick little render here. And obviously you wanna touch this up, I'm just showing you a quick example of how easy this is though, just by using the CC radial blur. So there you go. Just a quick animation. 
Now what you can also do to kind of make this a working file um, is open up each of these text layers here. And the drop downs like I'm doing here, click text on both. Okay guys, once we get both of these open, what you want to do here is make sure you click off the text. Yeah, the text was highlighted there. You want to click off of it first. So just click to the side of it. Now you want to alt click on the stopwatch and it'll pop up this little menu with the squiggly bar, the expression pickup, drag it over to your source text, not the TG media 2, not the actual text, the source text. And you'll see this kind of code pop up down here. And then you're good to go from there. Now you can double click on this first text layer, almost well, technically second text layer. And you can write whatever you want to write, and you can keep the same effect. It'll even keep the same animation. Um, so yeah, it's just a cool, easy, quick way to uh, add shadows and make text look 3D.